matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing folks, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, presenting the challenger, the Nightmare. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. All right, this is for the championship. You begin your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. So we've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. <laughs> this one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon. Unable to connect with the right. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick. 
kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Lands with the right hand. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, that straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times to the face. And everything's landing with so much power. Let's go. Set up that takedown. Over and over, he's landing with a big body kick. Let's get going now. Punch over the top. Straight right. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. Beautiful kick. Back and forth we go here. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, nice jab. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Real sneaky block kick. And they separate. 15 seconds remain in the round. What a body kick. Oh, an educated team. This guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your suit. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round underway. I'm not sure how he stayed up with I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Oh, straight right. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a good one. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Punch no good. Oh, huge left hand from Francis Ngannou. Every time he loads up and extends, you feel like the fight might be ending. Yeah, absolutely. And the whole crowd holds their breath. Right. right? You hear a big exhale. Every time Francis loads up to finish a fight, you hear the crowd take all the air in yeah. because they're ready to explode. That's the type of performer, that's the type of fighter that Francis is. After you take a head kick like this, that is such a tough thing to even be able to speak right now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, big left. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Both of these gentlemen are putting it on the line. Going to the body there with the right kick. Right hand punch. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. And he comes through with a big knee. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook 
to put his opponent on wobbly legs. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, ten seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout.